almost to the phones. One last thing. You remember back when uh, Donald Trump was having all these parties at the White House? Goofy ass parties. <laughs> Get TikTok or something, man. Jesus Christ, man. At least two step. You know? Lower rhythm. Damn. <laughs> anyway, during those White House parties, there were several of them. I had no idea. There were like two dozen holiday parties thrown by Ivanka, not Ivanka, Melania and, 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 and Trump. Going away parties, I guess, you know? Welcome back to your regular life of golfing more, even somehow, even more often than you have done while you were president, which would be hard to do. Well, apparently, apparently someone who attended one of these parties has contracted COVID-19. Yeah, because see, this person, and I have a picture of him. Here he is. His name is Tom Melton. <clears throat> he's a uh, GOP official out of Massachusetts. He said, you know, okay, so they had to wear a mask when they walked in, but no one was tested. There were no thermometers, uh, no temperature gauges, you know, to see if anybody had any fevers or showed any symptoms. And once people got in, they basically just took their mask off and shoved their mask up their butts or played games and threw them, away, threw them around or played hack and sack with them, you know. Blew their nose with them. They did stupid stuff with the mask, but they did not wear the mask. He said a couple of days after leaving this, leaving this event, where everyone was maskless, including him, he started to display symptoms. <clears throat> he tested COVID for COVID. He tested positive for COVID nineteen, which he believes he contracted during the Trump party. Well, let's put it this way: when I went down to Washington D.C. for the party the White House Hanukkah event, I was perfectly fine. Three days later, after that event, I was in the hospital with Brigham and women's ready to put, ready to be put on life-saving ventilators. Uh, Mountain was then hospitalized twice in the coming weeks and says each time was close to being put on a ventilator. Okay, so <clears throat> this guy Mountain is now doing okay. He's on the mend. Uh, but says that his, this experience has changed his opinion and his thinking on the virus. I was one of the naysayers. I am no longer a naysayer. Uh, four of Mountain's immediate family have also tested positive for the virus. Mountain says that his family tried to dissuade him, but he would not listen because he is a moron. And Russian roulette is a fun game to play with other people's lives. Then, oh, Tim, those are those COVID-19 cases aren't real. It's just people are getting sick of other things, and then they're just putting it under the grouping of COVID. Those are not COVID-related. It's, it's, uh, it's, he caught the, he caught the skeebie jeebies or the whoopie doopies, the koobie baba. Boo -boo. You know? Come on, man. People get sick all the time, man. <sighs> Try Jesus. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Don't be fooled by corporate media talking heads misleading the people. Get your news and information from an entity that keeps it real. Tim Black. Tim Black is the host of The Tim Black Show, independent news that leaves you informed, inspired, and sometimes entertained, but always in the know. Go to TimBlackTV.com and sign up today. The Tim Black Show is news for people who can't stand the news. See you there. <laughs>